I'm Dr. Michelle Minical, family medicine physician at Bellin's Green Bay Clinica Hispana. I chose family medicine because I felt like that was the only specialty in which I could really attend to all of the patient's needs. When I rotated through other specialties, it always seemed like they had additional concerns that they could never raise with their specialty provider, and I wanted to be able to address the person as a whole. Clinica Hispana is a family medicine clinic uh, that accepts all comers. All of the staff here are required to be able to speak Spanish so that we can attend for, for the Spanish-speaking patients from the moment they enter the door until the moment they leave at all the different stages of their interactions with healthcare. But we also see patients who don't speak Spanish as well. We will accept anybody at this clinic. 99% of common issues we can deal with here. They're the 1% of those unusual medical conditions that we need to refer on to specialty care because we don't see them often enough or they need a higher level of care. I think in medicine, our role as an educator is paramount. I think it almost supersedes everything other than our diagnostic capabilities and treatment plan. Because if we don't communicate what we want to do for a given condition, and we don't communicate with the patient what the plan is, then they're going to walk away with misunderstandings and the chances that we don't get the outcome we want are much higher. I think a lot of people can become overwhelmed when they have a lot of different health issues. It's hard for them to know what to focus on and how to prioritize their health care. So I enjoy helping them with that role. And I think that it's a role that no individual specialist can provide either because they're only dealing with each individual illness. First, I have to learn a little bit about how much does the patient already know about this issue and then try to pick up from there. Where are the gaps? What are they most interested in knowing about? With almost every illness out there, there's multiple ways to treat it. So if I pick a plan for a patient that's not congruent with their values, then I haven't really served them. So first I need to hear about how they would like to approach this. As long as I feel like what option they have chosen is going to be helpful for their health and move us in the right direction, I will let them guide that plan a little bit. I feel like working with Bellin has been really advantageous to creating the medical practice that I want. If I have suggestions, I feel like there's always open ears for how we can do things better. And overall, they've been very supportive for me in doing the scope of care that I want to provide for my patients. I think one of the most rewarding things about being a family medicine doctor is to see a family progress through time and increase their understanding about their own health and be able to make their own changes. Things that they can do for themselves are in the end going to be much more powerful than anything I can do for them. And I like to watch that process happen.